So I don't say good morning to Walt. I only say good morning on camera. So this is the first time I'm seeing Walt today. Let's open this door right here and say hi to Walt. What are you doing there, Walter? What are you doing? I'm trying to get garbage out of my pocket and back into yours. How about you have you, your tools in your place instead of your tools in my place? Walt's got a lot of tools. I have enough. He doesn't know how to use them, but he's got a lot of them. Walt's gonna do what? A daisy chain. A daisy chain, That's, okay. And this way you keep the cords all in one spot and you only take out as much as you want. Oh, do that in slow motion, Walt. Do it again. Ooh. Dang, Walt. Walt's good at cords and ropes. Uh, so all, all you do is you start with a loop. Loop. A loop. Yeah, you make it look easy. Loop. That's not easy. I don't know what the heck you're doing. It's kind of weird. And then you finish it off by putting it in there. Now, how do you take it out? Show us how to take it out. One at a time. All you do is take this off here. Yeah. And, and pull. you can pull. Can you do that with extension cords too? You I mean, like thick cords, big 100 footers. Don't they do that? Yeah, they absolutely. Absolutely. Like you that. see them on the trucks like that. And on the ladder rack sometimes. Right, exactly. How do you say it? Do Due diligence. Due diligence. Easy for me to say. Inspection. Uh, what in the world happened here? Uh, wet water damage right here in a newer RV. Right here, it's weak right here. Oh, yeah, it is weak. But it's a cabinet. We gotta let's pull this slide out right here. Slide so we can get to this counter. We gotta start taking it apart. See what this is a huge slide. Oh yeah, the floor is sinking right here. The floor is oh yeah, dude, the floor. Okay, we got mold. The water here is leaking. Look at look at the mold on that back wall. Jeez, oh, yeah. Oh, this is a huge job. See, it's plywood, though. See it? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, the whole water heater. It's all got to be replumbed and everything. Water heater. Oh, this is a huge job, Walt. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Watch my fingerprint. <laughs> what? It's it's soft. Underneath here, soft? No, no. Watch, watch the, watch the, watch the plier. Yeah, go over here, fill the floor right there, though. That's uh, all. I went, yeah, it's all soft. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, guys, we're in Airstream now. At the, still at the house. Airstream. Oh, come on. It covers over the windows. I can't see. Oh, my gosh. You got all this on the bed? I got to remove all this crap now. Uh, there should be an extra fee for removing crap. A crap removal fee. Uh, Okay. Well, now the bed ain't gonna come, just come off that easy. Can I tuck it under here? No. Yeah. Nope. It's gotta be all taken off. Ugh. Whoa. Hey, Walt. Show, show the audience the wires and the colors. See, we're we're thrown off here. This right here is your ground. Your white on a water heater on an airstream. This is your power wire, thicker blue, and the thinner blue is your other uh, communication wire. And this is the orange is your another communication another communication this is totally wrong because this two blues are usually the thermostat and then use your power your orange and your white your ground so this is totally wrong but look at the all the color difference the little one it, it's totally different than what it should be so that tells you that walt nailed it on this one because i would have hooked it up wrong because i wouldn't have looked at that you know if in doubt just take a look but he's a little anal nelly well I wasn't understanding the color codes as it was going in and going, and then I'm looking at the unit itself saying, hey, there, uh, let's take a look at this a little more. Sometimes taking a little more time and understanding what you actually have instead of just... It's better than blowing the board of... Well, not only board. that, but pull the fuse, uh, did the switch here, oh, uh, the main battery switch. What are you doing with that orange piece of tool? Oh, okay. What we're doing is we're replacing, we're replacing the cone gasket. So we do that by default at the camper girls. All right. So yeah, I got to put that back in. That's a that's a brandy spanking new one, and a nice having a nice pick like something like this. Harbor Freight. We automatically now it's it's what we do. We put in brand new cone gaskets every time, regardless if they need them or not. Brand new because for the price of cone gaskets and the price of a leak in a brand new Airstream, it's not worth it. If it was a crappy camper and it was totally trashed, 
Eh, I still put them in. I still put. We still put them in, even in the crap. But you know, if we don't have any with us, we're not gonna lose sleep over something that's worth a thousand dollars a camper compared to this. You know what I mean? So you have to take it all within reason of how much the camper's worth. If it's worth a ton of money, then you you got to do a good job. And you do a good job. We do a good job regardless. But you know, there's certain how much you want to spend on an older RV, right? Well, not only that, but doing the job a second time. Yeah, doing it twice ain't fun either, right? Right. Look at Walt's wearing a camper girl shirt. RV repair the camper pros. I'm gonna get one that says camper girls for Walt. What do you think, Walt? I don't have to wear a dress, do I? Yes, you do. Oh, can it come in plaid, like a kilt? Yeah, kilt. Yeah, we do kilt. With, with Scottish. A, with a sword? A Scottish, yes, sword. Ah, I love it. You can walk around with a sword. Aye. Like you, Walt's gonna, Walt's gonna walk around with a sword all day, see how that works out. Yeah, yeah. You go back outside, come on. Go potty, come on. Just coming up here, checking this slide seal. Just for the note on camera, right here is rotted and hit slide. Like I put my foot through it almost. Okay, just for a note on camera. I sealed all that, it's all sealed. We're good. They're shooting firing guns over there, I can hear it. Holy cow, this is this is taller than the shipping containers. This one's coming out right now. We're, we're literally leaving right now with this one. Um, I might have undercharged my hair on this job, but you know, it is what it is. So, I kind of have a bone to pick with everybody. I mean, not everybody. And I don't mind the comments, you guys. The comments don't bother me. I'm pretty thick skinned with that. The thing that bothers me the most on YouTube is the people family members that call me and say you shouldn't have posted that you shouldn't have posted this well you know what it's my channel if you don't want to watch it turn the channel off that's it turn it off you don't want to watch it don't watch me I don't say crucial information on this video I don't do it to me that's not crucial to me to show my license plate you think I'm going to hide every license plate on five six vehicles all the time I couldn't do the channel then I couldn't do the channel if I had hide all my oh here's my license plate guys i am not afraid i'm not freaking nervous nelly i don't give a damn about that little stuff that's little stuff in life i'm just taking you know really i don't care i show you my license plate name ones all the time i don't do anything that i'm not afraid of to show anything because i don't do anything wrong to be able to show a license plate big deal golly some people man you gotta live your freaking life, you know? You can't just be like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna live my life. You know, live your freaking life. Don't worry, you worry about everything. God damn, you worry about everything. You're not gonna live a life. I don't, I could die tomorrow. What am I worried about a license plate on camera for? I don't care. So if someone reports it in and they make some, something bad about me and, and I get pulled over. Well, I have a YouTube channel to explain that. <laughs> I mean, I have a backup. And to be, be honest with you, I really don't even care. Sometimes you just got to not care in life because you get stressed and you'll die of a freaking heart disease. I ain't going to die of heart disease, motherfucker. You want to die of? You want to know what's crazy? You want to die of Heather stressing me out, maybe. Or you. Know, maybe you. You know what's crazy? What's crazy? Okay. Some of these keys have chipped in them. Mm hmm Why in the world do we spend $300? For a chip. For a chip on a key. Because you can't turn this, you can't start it without well, it. I realize that. But why not get vehicles and encourage the dealers to have vehicles that don't have this? They'll get stolen. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, really think about it. They'll probably get stolen more often, but I get it. This is a pain in the butt because the chip, you got to pay $300 every time. I get it. Dealers make money off this. This is the most profit. This is like a coffee in a restaurant, dude. This is profit. Oh, customers here on spot 44 and we found out it was a switch. We troubleshooted it for this jack. So we found out it was a bad switch. Okay guys, this is what happens when you pay for a roof job and some moron does them. Look at, look at this, look at this roof. <laughs> this is bad, dude. He's got Dicor, he's good. You got a hole over there? Yeah. He's gonna start leaking right here, look at this. I know. It's gotta be filled. Dry, 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 dry. Take a picture of these wrinkles. 
Okay, we're in another place. Gonna put some fuses in this for the jacks. I always wondered who had this building. All right, well, let's get it. For all you people out there, Flatlanders. For all you Flatlanders, look at these foothills. We're in the foothills. I'm riding alone, but I'm not. Because Walt's in the back and the ambulance in the third seat. There's a seat back there with a seat belt. And he's having a private conversation. I wonder with who. Hey, well, how you doing? Nice to talk to you. Nice to keep me company. That's what I pay you for, to keep me company. Hey, let's spy on him. Ready? Watch this. I have a camera back there. Look at it. Can you see him? So Fred asked me to end the video. What should I say? What should I do? Who knows? So I've been messing with this pool for what, like a week now. Um, we put it in the ground. I don't know if he told you, but it's in the ground. I have added block to it. I have added shock to it. I have added, what else did I add? Just regular chlorine I added. And when we shut the pump off, all of the yuckiness goes sits there so when i turn it on to vacuum everything comes back up so i'm a little frustrated i've been fighting with it for like i said a week i think um i'm gonna try some other stuff i guess so my step ross says that i have to take the back i guess the back plastic piece off i gotta take and then we're gonna wire tie them and hopefully that works i don't know <sighs> All this for a swimming pool. All this for a swimming pool. Who knows? Mm. It looks like the redneck regatta over here. Everything's a big mess. Eventually, we are going to do something to this wall. I don't know what, but it's a big mess. I think, see, this is actually just regular grass. I think I want to put like a couple things of pompous grass here. And then we can do, um, I don't know like rip riffraff or riffraff or whatever ross calls it i don't know there's some rock stuff and then some plants so that we don't look at just this thing just the you know the dirt so yeah <laughs> and it goes all the way to the front another friend of ours said that we could use pompous grass you have more blueberries you're gonna turn into a blueberry you're a blueberry head you're gonna turn into You're a blueberry head. I say bye because I'm tired. I'm ready to fall over. Night, peeps.